Inspiration means having a real strong feeling inside of you, wanting to do something, wanting to change. Why? Wanting to improve. Well, it starts when you're young. You get heroes. You watch TV shows. You go to movies. You see, um, you read books and your heroes. For some of us, I'm, I'm not an expert on innovation, but I'm an example of it. And I read books. And the heroes owned their own companies. And when there was a world crisis, they'd go into a laboratory and build some neat thing like a plasma field to hold an alien presence or whatever. I thought, wow, this is the way. Your technology and science is really what's going to save the world when I'm young. These, these were my heroes. They were like supermen. And it gets into you, and you decide you want to grow up that way. We think of rewards and punishment. But rewards in business are your salary, your job title, you know, how many houses you have, all your perks, whether you have a secretary. It's your clothing. It's all these things that kind of define you as success up the rank, awards that you get. In school, what's a primary um, reward? Your grade and how praise that you get from teachers. Well, there's other, those are all extrinsic rewards that people can see. People can see what my title is in my company. People can see um, the, they can even see the salary that I get, really, you know, and they know these things, where you stand in society. But when you have a reward inside your own head, I want to do something for my own reason, it is ten times as strong. You will not. You will work on it and work on it harder than anyone. And sometimes that goal is what leads you to the skills that makes you better than anyone else in the world at what you do. And one of the things that Hewlett Packard had when I worked there was a policy. You could have parts for things of your own design if your supervisor approved. They felt that in a way, by building things of your own design, you're working to make them so perfect, you're developing your mind better than if they paid a huge amount more money to send you to Stanford. So it was a very, very um, good policy to have these parts around. For the engineer who wants to come in at night and just build something for themselves at home, they are turning into something that might be a valuable new direction for the company they work at. 